today we'll be putting together a pill bug enclosure um, for less than 20 bucks. Now this is going to be designed to be uh, easy to maintain, uh, definitely minimize the amount of outside material that you need to put in the container or the uh, enclosure, and it's going to be designed to be pretty cheap. The goal is to have uh, three containers for about 20 bucks, so our three colonies, three starter colonies for about 20 bucks. Now a brief little overview. Parcellio scaber, which is this gray uh, insect right here, and you got Onisius acellius, which is this one right here, or the ridged woodlouse. Most of the ones you'll find in the states are going to be this variety, um, Oniscus acellius, but sometimes you'll find the Porcello scabier. A quick look at the Wikipedia page reveals some pretty interesting information on these guys. Um, they are, in fact, uh, isopods, which is the same group of uh, crustaceans. I should say, which is the same thing as a lobster. They definitely they share a lot of evolutionary lineage. Arthropods. Um, the woodlouse has a shell-like exoskeleton, which it sheds uh, half at a time. So it'll shed the back half first, and then a few days later it'll shed the first half. And then they usually eat the exoskeleton to regain some of the uh, calcium lost. Um, one of the cool things about these insects is they fertilize their eggs and then they carry the young with them so they don't actually lay eggs so once they have eggs they form a little white patch underneath the um, isopod and then later those little white patch will turn into offspring and then they'll just detach from the mother and go about their business that's why you don't really need to have in soil in with them they do just fine on uh, a sponge you can look at the rest of the information on the wikipedia page or if uh, you happen to not have any of the little things handy for you, you can always head over to a couple sites I know online, Bugs in Cyberspace. They have an awesome selection of different um, pill bugs or sow bugs you can get. Um, they come in a couple different varieties for the hobby. So you've got orange ones. You've got a couple different micro types, which are jungle size. Um, there's a couple larger one specimens have been found in canyons, which they have a couple of those for sale on the site, along with uh, Dalmatian coloring, which is basically like a clear white color with a black stripe, or you have um, molted or just a normal gray color. So the selection is really is kind of vast out there, and the information you can find on the internet is really, really helpful. Yeah, really easy to take care of pets. They're really kind of interesting. Um, a colony is very easy to set up, and you'd be surprised how quickly, how quickly they can breed. Um, as I said, everything that we're going to show you today for my setup was less than 20 bucks total cost. So, and a lot of this stuff you'll be able to reuse for a long period of time. These aren't roly polies which roll up in a ball. These are the ones that kind of stay flat. And I'll show you some of those a little bit later. So uh, let's just jump right into making one of these enclosures. So what I use for what I use for containers, I use these snapware containers. Uh, you can get them at pretty much any large chain um, craft store. You can get them at, uh, I think it's uh, AC Moore. You can get them at AC Moore. You can also get them, Michael's is another place where you can get them at. I like these a lot because it's durable. Uh, you don't have to worry about them coming apart. They stack very easily. They're actually designed so that the top of one, uh, you know, the one is the top of the next. So they fit together really nicely. Um, some of them come with the wires, which is kind of cool. Uh, so you can actually kind of get dual purpose out of these things. And you basically just stack them together. You know, very portable, very easy to take care of, very easy to move. You know, saying you can look inside of them. And uh, definitely uh, something that's kind of secure. So I like using these containers that are really not that expensive. Uh, a set of three like this costs uh, $7.99. At pretty much anywhere you go. So $7.99 for the, uh, the enclosure itself. Now I told you that I like to kind of minimize uh, bringing in outside things. I've found over the years that the more dirt and leaves and stuff you bring in for a colony like this, the more uh, harmful organisms you're incorporating into that and it provides a perfect environment for them. So I like personally to um, use sponges um, Mainly I like to use sponges and shamwows because I know they're clean, I know they're sterile, um, they're easy to wash, so I can use them over and over and over again, and uh, they're very nice and simple setup with not a lot of clutter, and I can just easily pick up the sponge and see what I got in the tank without having to dig through the dirt, because these guys will dig down in the dirt. So, 
Uh, so you get four of these sponges um, at the Dollar Tree for a buck. Uh, if you can't find these ones, because sometimes they don't have them, you can get the um, just the scrub sponge, which I'll open one up here to show you. The these scrub sponges look really good. They got like a Brillo pad side on the bottom, which can be used as kind of like, uh, they, they maintain moisture really well, so you can put them either uh, scrubber side down, or you can put them uh, sponge side down inside the little container. And that just gives the little guys a place to hide. Um, the reason I use sponges, uh, obviously they maintain moisture, so I don't have to fuck with the mo moisture very often. And uh, they just look really well. They work really well in there. Uh, if you can't find either or, the third option is you can get sham wows or handy shammies at the dollar store. Uh, these are $2.99 for a two pack. These are a buck for a two pack. So these work really well. You'll just cut this to fit the bottom of that and make it a little bit smaller than the edge and then stack three or four layers. And these will hold a lot of water actually, believe it or not. So these are really good too. Plus, uh, when you're done, nice thing about uh, these versus the sponge, sponge's got holes, stuff gets inside the sponge. These are very easy to wash off. So you can just throw them in the wash, wash them off. You know, don't use any chemicals, but you can just throw them in there and wash them off if you need to. And you can reuse these for your um, colonies over and over and over again. So, all right, so that's the basics of the actual supplies itself. All right, so the food that I use is the Raspberry Superfoods. I use the Bug Burger. Basically, the way that you use this product, you take uh, three-fourths a cup of water and then one-fourth a cup of this food right here. Uh, you put it into a container or a cup of some sort, uh, any kind of bowl, mix it up real well, put it in the microwave for uh, up to two minutes, I think a minute or two. And after, you, after you're done with that, you take it out, you let it cool, and then you can cut it up and feed it to the insects. Believe it or not, uh, for a colony that fits inside a jar like this, you can keep the... Uh, wood lice, if you want to call them that, in a container this size. Um, one cup of this food will last you forever. So you can keep it frozen, you can make a cup of it, and if you don't use it very quickly, you can fr freeze it in little cubes and break it out. You can keep it in the fridge for about a week. They say that one cup of this stuff uh, can feed a thousand medium-sized crickets for a week. So um, trust me, it's, uh, it seems like a bit of an 639 or whatever happens to be wherever you buy it. But one four ounce container will last you months. So it's really not that expensive. Um, and obviously the target primary audience for this is gonna be you know, younger kids. So um, all in all, like I said, and I'll show you the receipts, it's gonna be about 20 bucks for all, everything you need. A couple of the other things that I wanna kinda of cover too is, uh, if you are not into buying the Bug Burger, you can also buy Fluker's Orange Cube, it's got a lot of the same stuff in it. It's kind of the same product, just a little bit different presentation. It doesn't keep as long. Um, I don't think it's quite as good. It doesn't have all of the nutrients and stuff that the Raspberry Superfood does, but uh, it will work. It also kind of works as a water source. If you need to, it should never be an issue though, because you can have so much water in the sponge. I mean, it should, by no means should there be extra access water on the floor, but that sponge is gonna soak up quite a bit of water and keep things nice and moist for you, so you don't have to get in there and mess with it too often. If you find that uh, drying out is a problem, uh, you can get water beads. Now you can get these, it's a, basically a plastic bead, a polymer bead that will absorb water. They get to about marble sized and then they'll slowly expel that water in the atmosphere. So that helps increase humidity uh, quite well. Nice thing about this stuff is they don't deteriorate, or they are biodegradable, but they don't deteriorate very quickly. So uh, if they get fouled up in the cage, you can always pull them out and wash them off, which is a really nice feature. So those two other things, if you're having a problem with humidity, or, uh, or if you're having a problem with humidity, you can use those aqua beads. Otherwise, the food, uh, that's what we feed them for food. And they don't really need much of anything else. Um, you know, they're used to eating, you know, primarily in the environment, they're detrivores, so they'll feed on any kind of decaying, dying plant matter. They'll feed on mold, fungus. Um, they'll also eat uh, mites and different things. So kind of a nice little creature to have around, especially if you have a large uh, insect collection. So the snap tight container should run you about $7.99, the sponges should be about a dollar, and the food should be about six. So as you can see, it doesn't take that much to actually get this off the ground. These are gonna be, you know, these colonies are really gonna be easy to take care of. So the nice thing is all this stuff is reusable, so you need to go back outside and try to get more dirt, and you don't have to worry about incorporating any microorganisms into your setup and everything's going to be clean. I mean, as clean as the bugs can be. 
It's gonna be clean. You're not gonna have to worry about parasites. You're not gonna have to worry about anything. You're not gonna have to worry about shit hatching out in two months. It's gonna be really easy to take care of. All right, so let's get into the construction. So I got my unit of three here. The first thing that you need to do is you need to drill holes along the top edge of all these, okay? Not that difficult to do. Um, really, it's not. Uh, make them towards the top. You know, these pill bugs are not going to climb up the glass here, but they will climb out the hole. The very small, small babies will. So that's why you want to use a very, very small drill if you can't see that. It's very, very small. Um, if you don't have a drill, you can also use the, uh, the good old lighter and nail technique and heat that thing up and just punch holes through the top of this that works too um, consult your parents before uh, or consult whoever you're responsible to before you do something like that so we're just going to go ahead now and drill holes in this thing and i recommend holes at about every inch all right so once you're done drilling all your holes, uh, you can take it apart here, take it apart, just kind of clean out all your plastic, all right, clean them out. There's going to be like little rough edges in there, that might be an area where a bug can grab onto something, so I usually just go through and pick these rough edges off on the inside, which uh, doesn't take a whole lot of skill, it just takes a little bit of time. If you're impatient, like I am, you can always just take a knife and... Go along, cut these off. All right. So, once you're done with your containers, you got your three different containers here. All you really gotta do at this point is you wanna take your sponges, and I like using these sponges like I was saying before. They hold a nice amount of water. They kind of fit in there nicely. Um, if they don't fit quite the way you want it to, you can always cut them to fit. So, okay, so you kind of get how, where I'm going with here. Um, you can also just leave one side of it with a sponge and the other side without a sponge, no big deal. One thing that you do want to do is, uh, anything that you buy from the store, there might be chemicals on it, so it's always a good idea to take it over to the sink. Um, you don't want to wash it with soap, just rinse it out really well. Alright, so basically you just stick your sponge in there. Um, for these larger sides, I either put the old baby food jar lids, any kind of lid of any sort. Um, these I didn't put in, include in the cost just because I figure pretty much everyone's going to have those kind of on hand anyways. But uh, So this is kind of the basic setup. And then to you know put a little bit of water in here this water is going to soak up into the sponge it's going to provide them with the humidity that they need and a little place to sit and and to live they'll be able to get underneath the sponge they won't really be able to get into it which is a good thing and then all you really do is you know believe it or not this stuff lasts a long time uh these food things so you know one or two cubes um goes a long ways it'll last you know 50 of these guys weeks so um, all I do is just put a cube or two in there. Uh, I don't have any of the raspberry stuff made up right now, so I can't show you that. So, so that's pretty much the basics of it. And then you just stack them back on top of each other. Put the lid on the top, and there you go. Ready-made colony, that easy. All right, so here it is, all set up. With the food and everything in there. Yep. All the little new pill bugs just hanging out in style. Relaxing, enjoying their food. It's basically what the colony starts out as. End up with tons and tons of members here after a while. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video.